Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. This will be a short video because there's not much in here. <laughs> Just saying from the get-go. This is a book that I made for Art Joy of Sharing or hashtag AJOS for the year of journals and journaling. And I did a video on how I made the book. Then I made a second video on how I altered it because there was too much space in between um, my signatures. I made, you know, I gave it a lot of room, so I added more signatures, so I think I have nine. So I did originally four or five, and then put other ones in between, so I think it gave me a total of nine. The original signatures in here are of mixed media paper. The ones that are in between the mixed media signatures are um, either computer paper or sulfite paper. I can't remember which one I used. So I haven't got very far in my book, but I thought I would do a little flip of what I was doing. I was playing around with watercolors and saw something on Pinterest, and I thought, well, I should try this to see what it's like to do something different in every area of the watercolor, which is not a new thing for me, but I made him a little more uh, involved than I usually do. I usually um, do as simple thing as I as I can because I really enjoy the simple things. All right, this one was done on the 2nd of February. Then I started this one and I didn't like all the space in between these so then I went back after I made this one and filled them in and now I don't like all the ones that are too close together. <laughs> but I will finish this one. Then I tried another one where you just put watercolor on the paper and then this is what I was talking about doing simple doodles. I did, this is just lines and circles There's an, and coloring in. There's really not anything complicated on this and I don't know the date that I did this. So I've been playing around with watercolors in this book for the watercolor pages. All right, here's one that I found that I am crazy about. Uh, let's see. I'll show you the original. The original is in this book, my daily doodle book. Mm, here. And it's by Alina, is it Nunes? Nunez? Nunes. And I did it on brown and I loved it so much. I thought, you know, the colors here are not as pretty as they could be. So I decided that I would do abbreviated version on the white because I think that the colors are much better for this application on white paper instead of brown. While I do like this look on brown, I like it much better on the white because I just think it's so much prettier. This one was another one where you just kind of blend and kind of let bleeding going on in watercolors and I started it and the pen the Signo Uniball I was using is Skippy. So I got a new pen and I am gonna try to finish this one because I really like the blue. Although I'm not usually a blue person. Here's another one where you just put green paint down and then you doodle whatever you want, wherever it is. And I did use some of these things off of a Pinterest entry post because I, I needed to learn some new skills. Um, this one is new. This was on the 7th of March where you do the leaves actually in the circle and they can form and then it looks like the top of this is kind of bulging out of the leaves. I like the way that looks. So I tried it on for size. I do like these little tiny circles just as an accent to fill in gaps. I like the way that looks. All right, so I have a lot of pages left. Well, what do I have left here? Oh, I only have one one page. I only did two two page signatures for the watercolors. Um, so I have like two left to do and then the other ones to finish. Then the ones that I told you about that I did in between, I think this is watercolor. I mean, this is uh, computer paper. So I'm not doing a lot of wet application on this. This is very busy, but um, I took scrap paper that was left over from making a mini book and I just glued it as a frame, then went on Pinterest and looked at different kinds of doodle flowers, some that go 
up and down, some that go sideways, some that hang down, and uh, trying to make it like a jungle forest sort of thing. It's very busy. Then I colored them in with different kinds of Posca pins and other little markers because I didn't really want them to bleed through. This is computer paper. It did bleed through a tiny bit, so on the back side, I had a more calming day. <laughs> I went through my uh, scrap paper drawer and found all these strips from various projects, kind of cut them down so they would fit in here. And then I found a, um, what do you call this? Ooh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, um, I found this, which is glued on top of these strips. And then I went through my stickers and found that. And I really like how calm it is. It's very bland. And after this and some of these others, this is very calming for me. So that is what I've done so far this year in this book. And I have a lot more pages to go. So the computer paper stuff will be mostly collage and uh, that, yeah, mostly collage type stuff. And then I will do watercolor on the mixed media or watercolor paper. I can't remember which one I put in there. And um, so I will work sporadically through the book all year. Mostly, I, I would like for it to sit up so it's nice and, you know, so it looks looks lovely this way from the top view. It looks okay. And it's starting to spread a little bit, but I don't have much bulk in here. You saw what I've done. There's hardly anything in here. But I wanted to document what I've done so far in here. And, you know, I only work in it when I feel... I don't want to use the word inspired. And I definitely do not use the word bored. I'm never bored. But there are days where I feel a little more inclined to do gluing than watercolors or doodling. Mostly this year in this journal that's been going on for a long time now since the April the 29th of 2021. Um, I have been filling up this book and doing something in it a little bit every day. Some color, some Posca, some um, watercolor, some black, a lot of black and white because that is my preferred method. But I'm slowly, let's see, where am I? There we go. I have this much left to do as opposed to this much I've already done. So by probably by the end of this year, this book will be finished. And because I'm ever hopeful I will finish this one, I have laid the foundation for the next doodle book. Um, I glued two pieces of thin chipboard together to give it a little more oomph. I cut up what did I use in here? Is this sulfite paper? I think this is sulfite paper in here. And I did... Yeah, it's sulfite paper. I have to touch it to feel it, uh, to know. I think there's four in each one of these. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four folded in half. And I did one, two, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did 12, uh, 12 signatures in here. I'm working on what I want my cover to be. I think I know what I want it to be, but I have an um, external hard drive that is not being recognized by my computer, and that is where the paper is I want to use. So until I can figure it out, I don't want to do anything and, you know, I don't want to mess or pick a, a different paper that I've doodled that I might not be as happy with. So there's that one. And let's see what else I've been working in. I've been working in my calendar book, calendar journal. Um, this was created by because of something else I saw somewhere. And, you know, I did it with my old, um, what do they call them, healable mats. So I cut it into different pieces, made it a Coptic book, and it's rather fat. 
So I, I do, I write in it every single day. I write down what I did, what I did, what I've done personally. I've written down um, different doctor's appointments, uh, all kinds of different stuff. I even in the beginning, I started out differently. I started putting in little things like did, saw, heard, draw. The idea came from Barbara Clark on AJOS in a video that she talked about, and I can't remember the woman's name, um, but that was that's where the concept came. And I tried it, and it was okay, but I found myself not sticking to it, that not every day what I would write here was also what I ended up writing down there, and to me that was just dumb because all I was doing is repeating stuff from one end of the page to the other, and it really wasn't necessary. I did put photos in. I put in strips of doodle paper. And then I take took my strips and glued them in the book. I've got photos in the back of different um, doodle stuff that I did in this book here that I like the way they photograph. So I got my sprocket and I put them in here. I just thought it would be really cute. Um, you know, documentation of those things. I laid my I laid one of these in every or put one every these in every single month. I wrote down people's birthdays and I glued scrap paper in them and then I started changing that I was not going to do the did see saw draw say whatever thing. That it was just too much. And so I have been writing in this every day and as you can see, well maybe not, some of it is starting to get a little fat. I ordered myself, um, let's see, how far did I get yet? Did they do it in May? Nope. Yes. I ordered myself some stamps that have cursive um, days of the week, and they do it, the whole word spelled out, and then they did the abbreviations, and I found that I like the abbreviations a lot better because, you know, I have a lot to work with up top. These are stamps that I carved a couple years ago, so I did one on every month at the beginning so I could find stuff, but I kind of like summing through it looking for the month. I get to look at all my little doodahs, which I don't have one on every the beginning of every month, but it'll be filled in. I mean, I did the butterflies for as many butterflies as I had, and I may just change the theme to something else. I've yet to use the pockets, and I found myself, where is it? Well, I quit putting them in here. Let's see, where's the last one? Well, I have those, but in the beginning, there were the clear envelopes this kind of thing, and I don't use those. So I'm not gonna do them anymore. Even even made little bitty um, file folders, not using those either. So I can see as the month goes on, there's certain things that I'm not using that I'm not sure I really wanna repeat through the rest of this book. But you know, it's a, it's a trial and error thing. I'm not a bullet journaler, and uh, I don't think I'll ever be one. I just write down what's in my head on that day. If I had a doctor's appointment on here, I had to post it note my doctor's appointment in here because I forgot. I didn't write down, so I had to put a post-it note in there for the future appointment. And um, so there's my journal for that. Let's see what else I've been work. Oh, I found a journal that I have not worked in. Okay, these are all working things. Well, this one will be as soon as I figure out what the cover is going to be and use up the other one. So these three, and then this one right here are the main working journals that I try to work in every day or every couple days or every week. Um, fodder School, was it Fodder School? No, Vintage Handmade Paper dot com or vintage book dot com did had a person go in and come in and do a little um, zoom class on how to make Celtic knots and so I practiced my Celtic knots in this book I don't know how successful I was but I gave it the old college try mostly this stuff is lettering and you know it's experimenting with things whoops I got my magnetic paper thingy in there like this I printed this off of um, 
Pinterest, and I've been practicing it a lot. I'm trying it, and I put a photo, I took the sprocket and cut it down the photo small and put it in here as my example because I keep doing it over, you know, different pages. Here we are again, and he ends here. Um, and so, like I said, I've talked about this book before. This is just a lot of different things that interested me that I found on Pinterest. I printed out some of this stuff and I just glued it in here. I played with pens and shapes and repetitive things. And I also played with um, strings. These are different, um, what are they called? Oh, the henna. These are different things that people put on their hands for the henna. Here is handwriting. I think, I think I've done a video on this book once before where I showed journals I was working in once before, not too long ago. But I just thought that for, the, for this year, um, the theme for AJOS was about working in journals and journaling and the different kinds of journals that we all like to work in. So these are the ones that I work in the most, these four. And now I've added a fifth and even a sixth one to the lineup because I didn't have enough here. <laughs> this one I refound this morning and I started it on the 8th of August, oh no, August 19th of 2022. Now I am not a sketcher, but I thought I would give it a try. It's only one sketch in the book, but and it's made out of corrugated cardboard, nothing fancy, not that many signatures in it. But I thought I would give it a shot to see what it's like. It'd just be uh, pen and ink drawings. I mean, pencil and ink drawings. So I thought I would play around with this a little bit this year. You know, um, if I go sit out in the backyard, just sketch what I see in the backyard. Mostly dogs. <laughs> and I don't draw animals, but it, th this is like a shed that I see when I sit out on the porch. So I thought I'd draw the little barn shed. There'll be other things in here, but this will be an ongoing project. This will take me more than the rest of this year because I am so slow at this. And then I added this little thing that I found, uh, who is it made by? It says Field Art Artisan. I don't know who this is by. I think this is Watercolors. Field Artisan, My Word, My World rec Rectangle, I don't know. So I was playing around with scraps and doodling, so I took some um, jelly prints. And these were scraps off of something else, and then I just doodled on it. And there I've laid down the beginnings of something else there out of uh, my scrap paper drawer. So these are the journals that I'm working in this year and probably after this year. So that's one two, three, four, five. I have six that I vacillate between. Okay, I think that is it for me for today. I did have a video I was hoping to do today instead of this. Um, I recorded a video on the techniques of um, coloring resin after, you know, I got it as a gift and I went back to edit the video today and all my footage is gone. I don't know what happened. I don't have a clue, but it's all gone. And I cannot replicate it because I've already changed the colors of the original um, resin pieces, the corner pieces. And now I have to figure out how to redo it. So that might take me a couple weeks, but I'll try to come up with other things in the meantime for content. This was a filler because I was a little distraught when I went to edit my video this morning and there was nothing there. <laughs> okay, so I thought you would enjoy seeing the journals that I'm currently working in and what I do in them. And hopefully there'll be more videos in the future. Sometimes I've been skipping weeks because of um, health issues. And it's nothing, nothing serious, but I was not up to filming or I wasn't in a place where I could really film videos and they didn't get done. So there. And now I've lost footage. All right, everybody, that's it for now. So I will see you guys next week.
Thanks for watching and hanging in with me, everybody. I appreciate it. Bye.